I guess so first off, we want to take a mason jar. They have smaller mason jars at the dollar store. I'd say about this size. I wanted one a little bit bigger, so I was able to get this one, but it was only a dollar fifty from Michaels. Okay, so I have this acrylic paint in satin, Deva you like, and we're actually gonna paint the outside. And the reason being because we don't want to put the paint inside with the wax and make it flammable. That just would not be good. <laughs> we don't want anything to explode on us, you guys. And start painting. And I wanna do a thinner layer because I still want the mason part to be able to be seen. And I'm only gonna take the paint up to this part right here because we're actually gonna be decorating that part. And I'm actually not liking the streaks. So now that the paint's already down, I'm gonna take just a disposable wedgie that you can find from like CVS, Walmart, etc., And I'm going to pat. Oh, that's so much better. I like that so much better. Gets rid of those streaks and it adds it to that kind of like rustic vibe that we're going for. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So you just wanna keep doing this and cover the whole thing, except for the bottom, cause you wanna let it dry. And then once this is dry, then we can get started with the candle part. So for the actual candle part, here's what you're gonna need. A scale, whatever you're gonna put the wax into, which is the mason jar that we created and painted. A measuring cup, whatever fragrance oils you're gonna be using. A thermometer, your wax, your wicks. <laughs> a kitty apparently. <laughs> your wicks, some masking tape, hot glue sticks, and a hot glue gun. Water, a pot, and a stove. Let's get started. All right, so you only need one wick per one um, candle or one jar. And you wanna straighten out the bottom and then straighten out the wick as much as you can. So you know it'll go nice and straight and center. Then, in the center at the bottom of this jar, we're gonna take our hot glue gun and we're gonna put a good amount of hot glue and really saturate it. You know what, actually I'm thinking I'm gonna put it on this cause the hot glue gun is not gonna reach. Erpsha purpsha. So I'm putting a crap ton and then we're gonna stick it down in the center. Stick it on down in the center there and use something pointy to make sure it sticks and stays in place. I'm just using the thermometer because it has a pointy end. You can definitely be more professional. Now it's in there. Now we need to hold our wig right in the center. Ooh, ooh, so we can get it ready for the wax. Take some masking tape. Just the size of the jar. Oh, <laughs> not like that. Hold on. Come on, little dude. You got this. There we go. Oh, cut you about my hair. All right, we're gonna place, yeah, that's good. You want a little bit so it can go over the jar, just like that. I'm gonna cut off this excess over here because we don't need you. And we're gonna cut a teeny weeny weeny little hole. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use the sharp end of the thermometer. Perfecto! Okay, now lift one side up and stick your wick through. Make sure it's nice and centered. And voila, look at that. It's nice and centered and it's gonna hold and stay placed while the wax solidifies overnight. I guess so the first thing you're gonna want to do is figure out how many ounces of wax you need in there so the easiest way I found to do this is fill the mason jar up to where you want the candle wax to go with water and then pour the water in a measuring cup that way you have the exact ounces you need you want to do one ounce of water for every one ounce of wax so there's eight ounces there I'm gonna pour that into the pot that we're gonna be boiling and then we're going to pour the rest of the water into the measuring cup 
and there's four ounces there and then eight plus four is 12. <laughs> so there's 12 ounces of water so we need 12 ounces of wax. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my stove top to seven right now and bring that to a boil. I always like to make sure when I'm boiling water I put the pot all the way in towards the back of the stove you guys so we can make sure no accidents happen and please if you are doing this and if you are a minor make sure you have an adult or guardian with you we're going ahead and put the wax on the scale and bring it to you guessed it 12 ounces and then we're going to pour it into the glass jar that we are going to be boiling please make sure that this is a boiling safe glass jar all right you guys so now once our water is about boiling we're gonna make sure we turn it down to medium heat, which is about five, because I don't wanna get burned it. We're gonna place it just like that. So I wanna gently start mixing our melt. <laughs> so I wanna gently start mixing our wax, and you can see it's already started melting. You wanna keep stirring it until all the wax is melted and until it reaches 180 degrees. And that's what the thermometer is for. We're gonna keep checking it. So now that our wax has reached 180 degrees, let's go ahead and turn off our heat. And this is where we wanna add our fragrance. So I have gardenia and amber woods here. And this is totally up to you. You can add as much or as little as you like. I'm going to go ahead and, and these scents usually come with a dropper. If they don't, you can find a dropper at Michael's. I'm going to use three mLs of Amber Woods. What is that? So a half. And now we want to gently Gently stir that around so that the fragrance can attach itself to all of the wax. Oh, that smells so good, you guys. It smells amazing. So now we're going to add one and a half of gardenia. So that's a half, that's another half, and then one more. All right guys, so when your wax looks like that, nice and transparent, and the fragrance has all melted in, it is time to pour it into our candle. So you wanna make sure that your candle is in a place where it can sit for 24 hours, so you don't move it so it doesn't get any bubbles or anything like that. So place it wherever you're gonna leave it for 24 hours. Candle is ready, the wax is ready. I'm going to carefully pick this up. Now this is where having a beaker would come in handy. I don't have a beaker here, so I'm gonna carefully transfer this into here, into this measuring cup, because I don't wanna accidentally get it on our masking tape or anything like that, so. We're gonna lift up one side of our masking tape. guys and this is what it should look like after we put the wax in there perfecto and then we're going to reposition this right to the center and I'm gonna put a little bit more max maxing <laughs> masking tape on the sides to make sure it stays in the center voila there's our little MacGyver moment <laughs> and we're gonna let this sit for 24 hours I will see you tomorrow gorgeous <laughs> All right, gorgeous. So it is the next day. It's been 24 hours. That's why I have my candle moved over to the nicer area. <laughs> the, uh, you know, I'm not a cooking channel, you guys. So kitchen setup, uh, that was the first time for me. And um, I apologize if it wasn't perfect. I still feel like we did a good job. <laughs> so now we're back to the area, my craft area that I'm comfortable with. Okay. 
Let's take off the masking tape. La da da da. La da da da. La da dee 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 dee. Be very careful around the wick. Don't want to rip the wick. No, no, rip the wig. Do, 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 do. Oh. oh, yay! <laughs> oh, you guys. Now, I definitely want to make another candle where we put like berries and stuff inside, but because you're not going to see it, I didn't want to do it with this. I didn't want to do it this time, but oh my gosh, look at how it turned out. Look at how it turned out. It looks perfect. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. So I did want to mention really quick that I did double the measurements. I ended up doing it again, and that's how we got it this high. Because um, it only ended up coming about right here. About right here, and I wanted it to reach about right here. So I ended up putting a, doing a whole nother batch with the one-to-one -one ratio, and then pouring it on top. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. Okay, so first off, it's time to cut lay wick. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh, we've done it. We have cut the wick. Yay! <laughs> I feel so proud of myself, you guys. We made a candle. Last but not least, it's time to finish decorating our candle before we even get to lighting it and enjoying the fragrance. This is from the dollar store. They now have a whole section called the crafter's closet and they even have exacto knives like this. Like what? Dollar store is stepping up their game, you guys. We're going to be really careful about this. I'm um, only using the very tip of the exacto knife and just scratching off some of the paint. And we're scratching it off on this mark right here on the little line underneath the self sealing and then we're going to scratch off the letters now you totally don't have to do this this is just me being a perfectionist and ridiculous and wanting it to look more rustic but you so don't have to do this yeah i went in with the scissors on the s and that was a mistake that's when i realized we needed an exacto knife and luckily the dollar store had one time to decorate y'all i'm going to take this golden ribbon and i'm going to put it all the way around the base <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that is my husband's laughter when he's playing Xbox. I'm going to leave that in the video so you guys can hear what it's yeah, like for me. Why do you feel like that, Chuck? This is me trying to record. Don't worry about it. So this ribbon is from the dollar store too, you guys. Look at how freaking thick this is. It's hella thick and nice. I mean, I don't know if there's like a lot of it, but I'm really, really impressed. So we're going to hot glue this all the way around the rim and then add some of these cute little berries. It's gonna look so cute. Artichoke. Now we're gonna take some of the, I don't actually know what this is called, the yarn rope, the jute rope, whatever you want to call it, twine from the dollar store again. And this is the darker shade. They have two shades, this lighter and darker shade. We're gonna be using the darker one because it looks more rustic and hot glue it around. And again, making sure that the bow ends up in the front. making 
making sure to put some hot glue on the actual rim. That way we can ensure that the twine is gonna stay there and not slip up or down. Cause we really wanna make sure that this part is covered. gonna keep going around and going around you guys until I get into the divot right here of the mason jar I'm bending it a little bit you guys that way we can hot glue it and it will curve away from the candle just to help it from burning and we don't want any accidentes <laughs> you don't want to put it right in the center I want to put it off to the side and then we're gonna put our bow right on top of the green stem so it doesn't show. And then we're gonna put extra glue behind it. Really make sure it's secure, you guys. Remember, this is not gonna show with the bow, so go ham with the hot glue. Also, looking at this, I think it's a little too tall, so we're gonna go in use our wire cutters and cut it about right here. Start cutting off a little bit at a time to make sure we like the way it looks. That looks much better, you guys. It's way more height appropriate with the actual candle. So I decided instead of a ribbon, I wanted to add some more greenery here. I literally just cut off one of the stems of my Christmas tree. Yeah, <laughs> use what you got. Okay. So it's one stem, so we're gonna fold it and twist it. So it gives the illusion of being separate branches. And then we're gonna hot glue it. Yeah. finished jar you guys we have made our own Christmas candle all right guys well thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I cannot believe we made a candle <laughs> it looks so good you guys and it smells amazing <laughs> all right well if you guys get inspired to make your own candle make sure to tag hashtag teeny DIY <laughs>